Y'all think I forgot? My tarot readings, my weekly horoscopes are only meant for people that are smiling. So if you're not smiling right now, honey. <laughs> I love you. Let's go. Oh, my beautiful Leo, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading, Leo. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, because that is how I keep up with y'all. This through the comments. I have a burp that's like trying to come through if you're wondering why I'm making weird faces, Leo. Um, also, if you do enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibe, Leo, I'd really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help me out a lot and I was super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot reading channel in that way. But remember, Leo, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. Use your intuition for this reading today because I believe my weekly horoscope readings, my weekly tarot readings for you, Leo, are just here to give you some food for thought, uh, food for thought for today. Uh, a perspective for you to consider as you go throughout your week, but never making the decision in your life, Leo, because it's your life to live, not mine and not these tarot cards. So all that being said, let's finally get into your weekly reading, Leo. So I want to see where it is you guys are currently at right now. How are you guys currently feeling, right? I want to see what, how you guys are currently feeling right now, Leo. All right, you guys are feeling with the Nine of Pentacles or the Nine of Earth. This card says enjoying life's little luxuries, spending some quiet time alone, and successful self-employment. So Leo, I feel like this is one of those times where uh, you kind of are just focusing on your hustle. You're focusing on your own stability and focusing on tending to yourself right now, which I feel like is the decision for you that you need to be making. Definitely one of those energies I'm getting a sense of where it's just, Leo. You know, a lot of people outside of you are probably perceiving you as something different just because of how you probably just at this time are enjoying your own company more than being around other people. It feels as if I'm getting like this strong sense that you're just ready to upgrade at this time and you just have no interest in sinking energy into things that aren't feeding into this sense of just upgrading yourself, right? Yeah, three of ones in the reverse. You're just so checked out from vapid situations, situations that aren't really feeding anything, in, uh, are feeding into your ultimate goal. Uh, the Justice card and the Knight of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, it feels like for you guys, Leo, that some of you guys are cleaning house, really, of where... Um, it's almost like just, I want to say, yeah, you're clearing, uh, cleaning house, clearing yourself of distractions, uh, and truly taking action towards it now. So you're really putting your foot down on certain things that have been bringing the sense of imbalance. It's almost, I don't know if this is, was caused by something, Leo, where you're just like, you know what, it's time for a change. Uh, regardless of the situation, I do feel as if, like, you're just in this place of, uh, really just looking for more substance in the things and the actions and everything that it is that you do. You're just craving more substance in your life. So uh, let's get a little bit more detail on this Nine of Pentacles, actually. I want to see uh, what all this entails for you, right? So we know the Nine of Pentacles is all about that solo dolo energy, um, where you're kind of just tending to yourself, enjoying your own company more than other with others. So we have the Six of Six of Wands for you, as well as the Seven of Swords for you, and the Death card. So, a uh, similar theme here. It feels as if you're finding a lot of your success or you're associating a lot of your success through clearing out burdens, uh, through clearing out the energies that you weren't feeling very trusting of, right? With the Seven of Swords, it's just like a sense of feeling overwhelmed and just very much so being like, feels like you just didn't have your heart in a situation and you've known it for a while so it does feel like you're just now putting action towards being like all right and that's enough uh with this situation that i feel for you let's see yeah the wheel of fortune and this is it just feels like finally action is being i don't want to say finally in a condescending way because i don't mean it in that way leo it just feels like you're taking action on things like you've always been really good at identifying being like all right like i need to keep a watch on this and that and whatever and but now it feels like you're done watching from afar and you're very much so going uh, 
taking active steps, right? Which may just be causing like a domino effect somehow in your life because I am being shown dominoes. So very interesting, Leo, on this. I do want to pull a uh, oracle card for this situation, animal oracle card. The one that came out is the snow leopard. So further enabling this nine of pentacles energy of maintaining being solo for a little bit, Leo. This card says taking some time out of your usual uh, to spend out of your usual life to spend in solitude. I feel like you're just getting a direct affirmation, Leo, of um, just staying the course with the things that you're doing. And just, you know, at this time, you don't need to involve other energies. It feels like you have uh, a good thought process on things and a good approach to things. Like there's just no reason to have your judgment be clouded by uh, the white noise of the outside world and outside perspectives that just don't understand uh, what it is that you're feeling and going through. So now I want to see how this situation pans out, right? And beautifully enough, we have the Page of Fire or the Page of Wands for you. This card says news of an exciting new endeavor. Use your originality and ingenuity, I believe is how you pronounce the word. I always struggle saying this word. Uh, but yeah, Leo. So it shows to me like through you staying the course of... Um, really sinking your energy into some type of personal goal this really starts opening things up for you uh leo i always say my page my pages i mean pages themselves represent new energy right but i always say with the page of wands this is my fresh star energy this is this sense of a new beginning a new journey starting to um uh, reveal itself to you all right so let's see what uh what clarifiers we can get for this Mm -hmm. Let's see here. So actually, I want to do one more re uh, one more shuffle, Leo. Don't mind me. I just like heard very pronouncedly to keep going one more time. Mm -mm. All right, one last shuffle. Let's get into this. So the clarifiers we have for your page of fire is the ten of cups with the ace of wands in the reverse for you as well as the five of wands in the reverse so there for how the situation is painting out with how you're receiving this page of fire this page of wands leo i definitely feel like this is more so associating with like uh making amends with something uh, Leo, so something that you maybe initially were kind of resistant to, or at some point, huh? Because so I feel like this is one of those things, Leo, that you passed on at one point, or you made the conscious decision of not feeding a bunch of energy into it at the current time that it first presented itself to you. Because with this Five of Wands in the reverse, this shows to me perhaps like maybe. Um, you had to wait, like, right opportunity, just not the right timing, right, for you. Because maybe with this Five of Wands in the reverse, you had some issues that you needed to resolve. Ten of Cups lets me know it's like something with your personal life. As this card goes flying. And then the Ace of Wands being in the reverse for you as well, Leo. Yeah, it's just like, you saw, you saw this path open up. You saw this story be presented to you leo but you couldn't walk through it for whatever reason you couldn't act up upon it um so i do feel like there's something uh coming uh we uh presenting itself to you as another opportunity uh leo for you to take up the chance to re-engage with some sort of energy again right and start fresh right naturally as i was saying with that page of wands so um, I want to be honest here though, Leo, I don't get an X energy so far. Maybe these couple next clarifiers will like make me change my mind. The chariot card being in the reverse, the magician card being in the reverse, as well as the um, <laughs> six of pentacles being in the reverse with this. So yeah, there's this very strong um, desire, Leo, for you to... <sighs> Dare I say, Leo, there's just like this strong desire of like, I may have even been like reading the, just through my optimistic nature, I may have been reading this wrong, but it's almost like a completely different storyline with this setup of here's where it's like you're done with like 
your personal life in general, right? Especially now that I'm thinking about with your more solid solitude cards, Leo, this comes off as a dynamic of where it's like you're taking space away from everyone in your personal life because you just need to like see things clearly without any type of influence right now. And I just get with this setup here, this is still like a strong uh, repulsion almost, Leo of sitting in this energy that makes you feel like you're being stale right that feel, it just feels like there's like this energy that you're trying to avoid trying to detach from that is just bringing you out of balance um i'm noticing we're not getting a bunch of swords cards with this leo so i don't feel like this is necessarily like intentional uh intentional like obstacles being presented towards you uh, if that makes sense. I feel as if this is more so like being around like an environment that necessarily that might like enable you to be more lazy, right? Or might enable you to be to uh, cheat on your diet or what have you, right? It does very much so just give me this vibe of where it's like you are trying to just completely disconnect from everything and everyone to uh, like rediscover yourself, Leo, or to just get your priorities straight. And I keep on hearing where this thing of like this constant assurance or this desire to like give assurance, Leo, of where you're trying to explain being like, it's not you, you know, I feel like you're, there's people in your life that are taking this personal of where it is you need like your own time and space to just figure things out. Um, and I just feel like this sense of frustration and having to try to make people understand just like you needing like your own time to yourself. Right, and it feels as if like there's just people around you that are like taking it personally. And yeah, that's the thing. I feel like that's just keeps what's coming up is just like consistently like I feel like you're being misunderstood um, through this desire just to like put everything beside everything on the back burner that doesn't like directly like associate with you. If that makes sense. So it's interesting. Uh, I want to see a little bit, Leo. Before we get into a different spread here, I want to see best case scenario for how this is going to pan out for you, right? How does this fresh start look, right? With this page of wands here, queen of swords coming in here. Yeah, you guys are just setting some hard uh, boundaries right now, uh, Leo, at this time. Another solitude energy, the sun card coming in as well for you, and then the seven of swords. And this card one came out, the devil card. Yeah, you guys are right now, Leo, just so repulsed by like outside energies that are not yourself. It feels almost as if like for some of you Leos, you feel as if you can't trust uh, someone in like, and see, I don't even want to say it like this because I feel like, again, like it makes it sound more personal than what it is. It just feels as if right now, Leo, you're just checked out for people in general. And you're just like, you know what? Like, yeah, it just feels like you need to just like separate yourself from everyone to really associate, figure out like what's best for you. All right. This devil card and the seven of swords, this is like this almost sense of overwhelmingness where it's like everywhere you look, you just see like a devil, right? even where devils may not even exist, right? Just because you're just on extreme high alert, it does feel like for a lot of you Leos, you've been in this state of feeling very fight or flight uh, in your life right now. And so it does feel like you're just on the defensive currently. And so you just need to clear your head a little bit. You need to just get away from all the white noise, get away from um, all the stresses, all the dramas that are going on in your life, right? I want to get a little bit more detail on that Devil and Seven of Swords, though, before we uh, close that part portion of this reading out. What's going on there? Queen of Cups coming in. High Priestess card in the reverse. Ten of Swords. So you guys are ignoring your intuition. There's something that you have a gut feeling about, Leo. There's something you have a gut feeling about. Um, Ten of Swords this is a long-standing thing that's been going on, right? You haven't had a good feeling about something in quite some time. Um, I feel like it's even associated with this, Leo, with that Queen of Swords. And so there's something that you guys are ignoring your intuition about, Leo. Something that you've been ignoring the red flags, or I don't know if you're wanting to pretend like you're not seeing it. But I do see something coming to light soon, especially with that Ten of Swords foreshadowing uh, things coming, uh, things starting to look up for you. I do just feel strongly, Leo, that 
there's something that you guys are ignoring your intuition on and the signs keep popping up for you i feel but you are ignoring them something that i'm just feeling so don't shoot the messenger though honey i just gotta say what i feel right so now leo we're gonna get into your financial and career this week we'll see what's going on there what's in the warm uh, what's in the warm up what's in the making what's cooking up for y'all uh for my leo's financial and career situation as the cards just go flying darling let's see here five of wands five of fire this is not a card you want to see honey for your uh, career and financial this is talking about conflict right competing goals bothersome details conflict with others right so i don't even really want to get into this card too much without pulling some clarifiers how are you dealing with some obstacles right now in your career right you may have found well no i don't want to run my mouth until i get these clarifiers Ooh, honey well, yeah. Mm. So we have the Tower card, the Justice card, the Seven of Cups. You guys have options, but the thing is, you have options through dramatic closures to things, I feel, right? It feels like your next move when it comes to your financial and work situations, like, and just keep seeing dominoes. I feel like I said there's like a domino effect for you, Leo, earlier in this reading. It just feels like once you something happens, some type of, like... I don't know. I'm getting like this just strong sense of like a lot coming, um, coming down. Cra I don't want to say crashing because that sounds dramatic. It just feels like things can just greatly switch up in your life, right? Even outside of like your career and financial situation, something else that you've been ignoring your intuition about that I was talking about, Leo. Um, let's say something happened with that. I feel like this would greatly impact like your financial situation, for example. I feel like there's just so many other things that you have going on in your life that you have to consider currently, where it's just like, you know, you don't know where you're gonna work in the next month because maybe like your big life decisions, you might end up having to move, right? You may might be changing careers entirely, right? So because you don't know, like it just, you feel like a little bit of a, stuck in the position that you're in currently when it comes to your financial and work situation. It just feels like you have so much else going on in your plate that you, there's not much that you, else that you can do. So now, Aries, I'm going to be getting into your social and romantic situations because, of course, I just called you guys Aries. I apologize, Leo. This is still for you, Leo, I promise. I just did Aries before you guys, right? So, um, yeah, now I want to get into my Leo's uh, <clears throat> romantic and social situations. Because remember, Leo, we have more than just romantic uh, situ uh, uh, relationships in our life. We have family, work, et cetera, et cetera. So talking about having too much on your plate, this is what's going on. This is what's on your plate, honey. We have the two of pentacles, the two of earth. This card says too much going on at once. <laughs> Come on now. The need to make a decision, uh, consider a more playful approach, right? There's something you're juggling with and clarifiers we have, the hanged man, the six of cups, as well as the death card in the reverse. Oof. So Leo, 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 there's someone from your past that you're seeing differently and you're seeing differently, but I don't know if this is necessarily a good thing, Leo. I'll pull some extra clarifiers just so I know that I'm not projecting. Uh, but right now I'm seeing a situation of some old past connection you're seeing in a different light and it almost feels as if like, I don't want to say, you know, I want to give the benefit of the doubt. You can tell that I don't like this energy of you guys going back to this regardless, right? Um, I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt, perhaps maybe this hanged man moment. Uh, there's a reason as to why now like there's something that you're seeing in the situ like in some situation involving them that makes it so like you have to not break a cycle with somebody and then you have to sink energy into the situation a little bit more right I, you know maybe there's a reason to it i want to look at this death card in the reverse more because i want to see is my leo just ignoring a red flag or is my leo doing something about this so we have the two of cups the Ten of Wands in the reverse, and the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Leo, you know, we started with your Nine of Pentacles, did we not? 
your social situation or for the, this being in your social situation this is coming up again feels like heavily this week you guys are just dealing with a lot of drama in your personal life i mean when, i'm gonna be honest here but uh, there's please don't go back to somebody leo Please, I say this with peace and love. Don't go back to somebody. Just because you can see, I feel like you're, I don't know. <laughs> Y'all see how how bummed out I am. I'm sorry if this is like depressing to you, Leo. I don't mean, it just shows you how invested I am in this, right? But um, I just, there's someone that you guys are ignoring the red flags on. There's a situation you guys are ignoring the red flags on. And don't repeat the process or don't repeat the things that you've been doing. It's something you're being asked to just like change something up. You're being asked to like really don't sink back into old cycles. That's all I'm going to say. <sighs> all right, Leo. Those are the cards that I have for you for this weekly uh, general horoscope reading. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards resonated and how they did. Uh, and hopefully I can connect with you guys sometime in the near future, Leo. Also, remember, I do weekly tarot readings for all the zodiac signs, not just Leo. So uh, send me, send my videos to a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not into tarot, send them this message, and maybe they'll find a, a tarot card that resonates with them as well. If you found any cards that were helpful, let me know in the comments. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Leo. And yeah, just know and remember, I love you so much.